All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another Mossology video and in today's video I'll be telling you guys about the Xbox Series X. Yes, I managed to acquire one. I actually acquired one the same day it was released. So, backstory on that. So I woke, I didn't even, did I sleep that night? I don't even think I slept that night. I stayed up the whole night, I believe. Um, woke up at around the time uh, Walmart hit open. And so um, I waited uh, and waited and waited. Eventually, Walmart had opened up. And uh, as soon as I got um, inside, the guy was all like, nah, you got to wait until 9 o'clock to order it online. And then you come here and pick it up. So I'm like, bro, I, I waited all this time for nothing? Like, oh, nah. Like, so I'm like, okay. So I go all the way back home. I'm sitting there waiting until 9 o'clock. I made sure of it. 9 o'clock on the dot. I'm on the bar, um, mall wart. What am I saying? Walmart. I, you know, misplaced the letterings. But Walmart website. I made sure I was on that website before 9 o'clock with all my info typed up, everything. So, as soon as 9 o'clock hit, I was rapid clicking. You would have thought that I was hiding around the corner, okay? Seeing the enemy that has been killing me the past 15 games in a row, all right? I was clicking on stuff so fast. I think I probably hold the world record for the flat, like fastest, the yes, the fastest um purchase on Walmart. But no, the fastest purchase on on a Walmart website because I'm like, bro, I was moving, and so I acquired it. I waited until the end of the day to pick it up because I was like, okay, let me get all my YouTube stuff and everything's out the way. So made sure of it. Um, and then yeah, as soon as I got, um, as soon as I got it, I was like. I just acquired a national treasure because the Xbox Series X um, and S's are like, they've been sold out. Let me just show you guys. If you try to go onto the um, like Xbox store to purchase a console hardware, Xbox console. So if you try, if you want to get you an Xbox Series X or S, huh? Wait a minute, what? out of stock but you so I, I guess you can purchase a series s i i guess so but this so here's the thing with the series s and the series x's for those that don't know so i'm pretty sure uh everybody knows that this is the digital version and it's cheaper and the graphics are not um it's like up uh, it's not 4k quality i think it's like 1440p quality and then this is um yes the you can buy a disc or buy games digitally. So I think that might throw that might have thrown some people off. You can buy games digitally on that Xbox. I mean, you could on every other Xbox. Why shouldn't you be able to on this one? I think if it, if that was like a question that you had, like, can you still buy digital games on the Xbox Series X? Yes, you can. So, but yes, this is 4K quality, 60 frames per second. It's I think it's also 60 frames per second for the uh, Series S2. But I just think that the quality is not 4K. But I think it can like run um, games up to 4K quality. So I, I don't know. It, it's just more so to buy. Yeah, it, it, this is just like the digital version. So you don't have to keep constantly buying disc and things. But anyways, um, and so here's a problem that I faced with the Xbox Series um, X. Just to get straight on into this. And it's like the one issue that I keep continuously having is that the screen would flicker. So for you guys, you're not seeing those screens flickering. But for me, I'm seeing the screen flicker. And it's very annoying when I'm playing games like The Division 2 or some other, um, like, X. So the reason why it does that is because, um, and it's just going crazy with it right now. And I'm like, why? For what? Like, I think I'm going to try to figure that out. So I'm like, it won't be doing that because I'm like, fam, if you're playing this on a 4K, I'm like, and maybe that's it. Maybe it's the TV. But I'm like, it's a 4K TV. The Xbox Series X is a 4K console. I'm playing 4K video games. Why is it flickering? So I'm like, yeah, bro. It, it's just dumb when it does that. But that's like an issue that I face a lot with the uh, Xbox Series X. That I'm like, it shouldn't do that. But anyways, so... Here's the thing I think a lot of people get confused on, like, which games are optimized and which games aren't optimized. So, for an example, Cyberpunk 2077 came out after the uh, Xbox Series uh, X was released. 
yet it's not optimized but it is a game meant for the xbox series x because i'm pretty sure everybody knows that that playing that game on last gen console wasn't really all that good so um and then there's other games where they will have like a xbox one um and uh, xbox one and the xbox series uh x bundle for an example fifa 21 so i purchased fifa 21 and um if you notice at the bottom at the um of the box it says xs so if i go to the library go to all the games i purchase it is uh that's the xbox uh, one version so if you do have a um an xbox one or if you like playing on your xbox one more than the xbox series x um if you purchase a sports game i guess like it does that. i don't know if it'll do that for all the other games but anyways um so it will have that at the bottom to let you know that games is um optimized games are so if it and if it doesn't then that means that the game's not optimized um, but it will run. It just will run. At, like So for an example, if you were playing um, any of these games like on the Xbox One X, it's just going to look exactly the same. But I guess maybe the graphics will be a little bit better and all that other stuff. So um, I know a lot of people have asked me on my gaming channel, like, do games run at 60 frames per second? And if the game is optimized for it, like, so if, for an example, FIFA 21, if it has that XS at the bottom, that means it's running at 4K quality, 60 frames per second. Enlisted, um, 4K quality, 60 frames per second. Uh, what is another game? No Man's Sky, um, 4K quality, 60 frames per second. Now, Titanfall, um, whichever quality it, I guess, was optimized for prior before, or, you know, what, when this game originally came out, it was optimized for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and all of that. So whatever their quality so i think it's just based off of the game itself like if they if the company says okay this game plays at 4k quality it runs it, it runs at 60 frames per second then it overall will do that but um i think it's yeah it, it's just more so whether they've optimized it or not so for an example uh when the division 2 had came out um the game wasn't originally optimized but they came out with an update to optimize it they did the same for rainbow six siege so you will notice that the graphics is like slightly different game on um, the game runs a little bit better uh it's not like you know like there, there won't be any like graphics issues with the game but that is a problem that i do face is that the screen flickers every time while i'm playing the game and so i'm like i don't know if that has anything to do with the graphics and so when you go to settings where settings at when you go to settings and then when you go to where is it uh is it tv so yeah if you you could put this at the lowest uh display which is 720p and for some reason it still like goes that will fix so hold on let me see if that will fix it 4k tv details so there's like your tv setup doesn't i don't know overall i'm like i'm gonna have to figure that out and uh see how to change it because i'm like it, it just confuses me when it does that when the screen starts flickering and stuff because i'm like fam i should be able to play the game no problems but anyways so um to another thing to talk on is that this the xbox series x like if you notice the menus doesn't look that different it's the same exact thing as the xbox one so if you were thinking about getting the xbox uh series x as a way of like oh i want to get the newest console i want to get you know it's going to be different and all of that there's not much of a difference it's honestly at the end of the day you're just buying a better you know a better xbox one it's just something where the graphics is just slightly better i guess so if you don't really care for graphics that much then you can very well go out and just get you an xbox series x you really wouldn't be missing out on anything because i think that also runs at 4k quality and 60 frames per second if it doesn't then um yeah but i, th I just think like games just run faster and better on the xbox uh series x so if there's like if you're noticing like issues with uh games like for an example cutscenes, and it'll start like you know lagging and chopping and stuff um the xbox series x doesn't do that you know, but it, it just really depends on which game you're playing so if the game is optimized then or remastered then you shouldn't have no issues but if it's not optimized or not remastered for an example the one game that i played i do i i don't know if i purchased that game or if i downloaded it for uh free saints oh so i did um purchase it 
So Saints Row 2, this game is not optimized for the uh, Xbox Series X. And there's an issue when you're very first playing this game and when you're escaping a prison. So for an ex you, so to overall explain to you the beginning of the game. So your character is waking up, escapes from prison, gets in this crazy like boat chase with helicopters and other police boats and stuff. The graphics, it were not the graphics, but the game just starts lagging like crazy. And you're not even playing it online. You're playing a single player mode. So it's like, it just starts lagging. It's like if you're playing off of McDonald's Wi-Fi or something like it, it is, uh, it's crazy. And I don't know if it does that for any of the other Saints Rows. I haven't played them yet. Um, but as far as I've seen it, like, it's just that screen flickering issue where I'm like, bruh, really? Like, stop it. Like, there's no reason for it to be doing that. But anyways, um, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about the Xbox, um, Series X, um, about games, the console itself, uh, whatever you need, um, help on. I will do my best to help y'all, but... Yeah, um, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and peace.